Hi guys, we have the mutator memorable boss over here. Now that's uh, kind of a little bit strange what they are doing here. I'm not sure what to think about this. Because memorable boss was actually the mutation, the full mutation, if you remember the hardest one before the prestiges were introduced with uh, heroes from the storm and the moment of silence. So that combination was very toxic on void launch and there were a lot of heroes. So they kind of change a little bit heroes uh, mutation. So they're more time time oriented than wave oriented, at least on some maps. Uh, so uh, there won't be so many of them because I think there were nearly 50 on that uh, map. Uh, so uh, here we have the they turned memorable boss into a mutator, but now the the description is same as heroes from the storm so i thought that they might want to because on nexus Corp, um, the heroes remained the uh, old version so uh, that they want to make a new version like to have a, a name heroes from the storm and this to be memorable boss the old version but there actually is something strange over here because I played, uh, later I played uh, played this game, first then I played uh, heroes with Heroes from the Storm Mutator and then no heroes spawned. So I think it's kind of, I mean it has to be some kind of bug, but I wanted to see what this does. Okay, I might uh, fast forward it, I'm playing as over my normally. And okay, I started here and when you start uh, aggroing them, then they push them actually towards the locks so and I need to, you know, luckily Banelings can splash damage the clocked units too, by the way, reminding you that ne NX solo and beta version can't wait to uh, this to come in the normal Nexus scope that you can actually remove ally completely, so you don't have to worry about ally's base in NX solo, com okay, so now uh, we have, uh, well, we have first wave, and you can hear Raynor, and Raynor is here, okay. Now, dealing 150, the, I think Raynor is actually buffed, and Tychus too, because they both deal 150 damage, I think Raynor normally deals 80 damage with Penetrator round, but now it's 150 if Tooltip is right, so... Okay, unfortunately this is capturing the lock now. Well, I'm uh, waiting for some zerglings. But I will. Okay, zerglings can finish Jimmy. It's uh, just 70 HP left. And these guys. And then I'll just clear my expansion. Okay, but one thing strange that happened here, I don't know if that's supposed to be here, you can see that Tychus actually spawned here, I don't know if it spawned here like a uh, random spot or it spawned from the lock, now that bug was present uh, uh, when I was playing Temple of the Past, I tried to play Assembly of Vengeance, but I failed because uh, heroes spawned, like three heroes randomly spawned directly from temple and started attacking it, so I was like, that this is not uh, going. So I think that is actually a bug. Uh, it's kind of really strange thing, and you will encounter this later too. Okay. I'm getting spires. I'm going here, I was saving my Leviathan for the next hero wave to see what it will be because I didn't know that I'm what to expect. Now we have, uh, I did a video about Nexus uh, co-op version of the uh, here, I mean the similar and it's a uh, lot of here, you have Alexander here, it's a lot harder than Heroes from the Storm, oh, I forgot actually what's it called, uh, it's uh, you can check it out, <laughs> forgotten the name, you can check it out. Uh, among my video, not so recently, so, so you're f not so, uh, actually pretty recently, not so uh, long ago I wanted to say, so um, you will find it, uh, you'll find that thing, just search for Nexus Scope Mutators uh, among my videos and you'll find it, that's their version of the like, I mean, kinda Heroes from the Storm, but this is now, we have two heroes, we have the Haka and Karax, Okay, now Leviathan can deal easily with them, normally. Okay, I kill these guys and then I proceed to clear this base with Leviathan. 
about and deals uh, uh, 500 damage with the auto attacks, so uh, 300 but 500 against structure. So everything dies over here. This is the next way, waiting for 11 minutes to, to get going actually. Okay, I failed. Uh, uh, this was a bit mistake. Late, late start this upgrade. Now, this is very important. Leveling explodes after death, causing a small amount of damage and reducing the sight of enemy units within range to only three. So, uh, that's always good against heroes. But now, okay, now we get Kerrigan and Artanis. Now we have Kerrigan and Artanis, their normal abilities, normal damage. And. But I'm like, I don't have this upgrade, so I cannot fight them because I. Risk losing brutal servers like let's fight this one the upgrade will finish until I get here and indeed it it, it actually did finish now but I didn't need to fight these guys here. I let those ones uh, capture. So Zagara and Zeratul are here. Zeratul is currently invisible now I get the overlord. And now Zeratul you can see that they are and the Zeratul is debilitated. Unit vision is greatly reduced and takes an extra damage of one. Okay. Now I have to go down there. Now I add two more. Well, did I add two more? Uh, I think I'm supply blocked actually. Now I'm not anymore. So I will add, yeah, uh, more broodlords. Oh, no, that's actually a. Uh, the, the drop, the explosive drop, but now I'm a little bit trouble because I have, yeah, only two. I think, uh, can't, uh, okay, now I do have them available. Yeah, now, well, the thing is, look at this, they dropped over. Okay, let me let me go if you didn't see that, like they dropped. Okay, let's go. So you can see that clearly see that there is just Kerrigan and Artsanis. And now, okay, let's see the moment. I drop this. And they just spawned right here. Like, that's not normal spawn point. There is no building here. They just spawned. So now we have a. <coughs> yeah, that was actually what got me. Got now Zera till Nova and the Haka randomly just appeared. Oh, uh, that's uh, snipe deals 200. There's a nuke, uh, 600 damage nuke. Okay, uh, and now I have four of these, but there is uh, five heroes plus the Haka spawns, and that's uh, kind of bad. They are kind of getting closer, and they are debilitated, all of them. That's good. But they're still kind of killing these Broodlers uh, pretty fast and they're kind of inching forward. Without the habilitation, I think I would actually have lost all of my things now. But now I need to the turn this kind to melee range. Now I need to buy time. I thought that I would actually, would actually lose this, but uh, okay, more Banelings and luckily now Kerrigan will die. I drop in some Zerglings. And uh, okay, I didn't lose a Broodler here, so that was good. But this is very, very strange. Uh, like a random spawn. Okay, now we have a lot of heroes over here Zagara, Kerrigan, Tychus, Karax, and the Haka. And now I need to start dealing damage. Okay, they will capture this. Uh, okay, see that's now okay, a little bit damaged here, but uh, mostly I'm able to keep them away. Have to back away a little bit but uh, they will be going down okay muta skill karax and uh, now 
Actually, at least this is mine. Okay, now this is a little bit problematic because this wave is going here, but this wave, because both these locks are captured, will be going uh, right for my base. And I wanted to deploy the Leviathan over here, but I was late. They killed my vision. There's a lot of stuff, plus some Sky Toss, plus some Zealots. And now I deploy Leviathan when I have vision, but it's kind of like they already proceeded to my base. Okay, there is a nuke. New kill Nutas, but okay, at least Leviathan survived, that's a big deal. I think I lost most of my mutants, there are two still alive. I think in the end I lost all. Bad thing is Zeratul is already in my mineral line, we have also Raynor. Artanis, okay, something also died. Uh, more heroes. Here at least there are a lot of overlords here, so they can see Zeratul. But good thing is that I saved uh, my base intact over here. I did have to resaturate. And now, okay, I did lose one broodlord. Well, I still have five, but I only have one muta. I was like, okay, now it's bad. Okay, we have two waves. We have uh, six heroes here. No attack is Zagara, the Haka, Kerrigan, Artanis. Okay, this Muta dies. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna lose here. But uh, the thing is, there was no heroes here to actually... The drop killed everything. <laughs> At least that was good. Okay, oh, 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 now uh, I lost two Broodlords over here. Not ideal. Uh, okay, now I need to use Mutas here. And Nova snipes the mutas, <laughs> so lost a lot of mutas here, but okay, I'm still alive. Nothing spawns here, luckily. Okay, I was like, let's uh, go capture there. I think I have Leviathan. And like, let's let's intercept this ones first. Okay, but exactly. Okay, now they are first time that there's uh, two of the same type, two Artanises. I think it's the first time. Okay, there is no. Uh, okay, no additional dude spawned. And I like this is already captured, so they are coming here. Okay, Art is second life, but Leviathan is still alive, so we now go here. But luckily there are no heroes here, so it seems that it's kind of normal heroes from the Storm Mutator, even, even uh, like newer version. It seems so, but the thing is, maybe older, but I'm not sure. Okay, now there are heroes here, but uh, okay, now I'm. Oh, 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 oh. That's a Kerrigan stingy. But they go away. Broodlings deal with that thing. How much damage these Broodlings do? Normal damage. 6 on plus 2, but Broodlings deal 48 on. So they, they do a lot of damage, actually. And that thing that. Uh, and they have strong acid. I don't know how much ex damage explosion actually, Brudling explosion deals. Okay, now Mutas deal with these guys. Hero actually went down here, I don't know for what reason, but uh, it's okay if they are down, la easier to kill. And now I fly. There is a drone here, I fly here, I was like, let's finish this. And now I'm kind of not uh, but not sure what to think about this, because it's, for moments it looks like normal. Uh, okay, I drop these guys, maybe do the bonus, but it's no time, because the game is down. And these six Ultras, Ultras have a lot of HP, but uh, even with Ferocious Ram, I think the heroes will still kind of 
kill them so when you have like five six heroes so this is this uh, mutator i don't know what to think is this still just a bugged like it was on temple of the past or uh, well I, I think the i'm gonna make an article on, uh, on this i mean article in the bug section so i think that needs to be work to be done i don't know if the, it's intentional that the heroes to spawn randomly like they did twice over here just just like that you know <laughs> it, it seems like a bug but okay anyways uh, guys i don't know uh, comment what you think about this thanks for watching and uh, <coughs> like and subscribe if you liked it and watch my other videos too see you guys